Click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, today we will discuss about a process creation technique which will eventually helps in a virtual memory management scheme. And this technique is known as copy on write which help to create shared process among the parent and child processes. We will see that how to implement it, what are the advantages and disadvantages of this copy on write and how the fork is different from the copy on write fork. We know that the process creation initially bypasses the need of demand paging by providing a number of processes that are being created thus minimizing the number of pages that are needed to be allocated to the newly created processes. Now as we know that the parent process and child process is a duplicate copy. Now traditionally the fork system call implements and issues a child process from the exactly duplicating copy of the parent's process address space and all the pages that are belonging to the parent pages for all the pages that now belongs to the child pages were be inherited from the parent pages only. As we can see that the child page is inheriting from the parent page, so if there are many childs which are calling exec system call immediately after the creation, then no use of this copying pages from the parent to the child. It will be a waste of time. As we are executing the parent system calls within the child system calls immediately. So there is a variation known as copy on write scheme. In this scheme, it initially will give the parent and the child process some shared pages. Whenever either of the process writes to these shared pages, then a copy of that particular shared page is then created and then copied to both the parent and child press. Now this parent and child process is containing the shared pages known as copy on write. These pages are marked as copy on write which is to be modified and then the parent and child process can access to that particular copy on write pages. Now we will see that how to do that copy on write and how it is copied from one process to another process. Here we can see both the parent and child processes are using this page A, page B and page C which are shared among these processes. Now if any of the parent and child process say suppose wants to modify this page C, so the process on the copy of page C will be created in the physical memory and that will be given to the both parent and child process. Here we can see that along with page A and B, the child process is containing the page C, that it has modified the page C and the copy of that page C is given to that parent process for the copy on write pages. So in this way, copy on write can be implemented in a two process of parent and child at the time of process creation. For example, say that the child process wants to modify a page within a process which contains the stack of the process. So now the operating system will first define the process and then check the pages inside memory or not. 
if it is in the memory then it will map it to the child processes address space now the child process will modify the content of the swap within the child processes address space not in the parent copy of that particular stack process page so it will modify and it will not cause any hamper to the parent processes copy this way the parent process can protect its own copy while the modifying of the child process can be done to this stack page so the all modified pages that are needed to be copy on write marked at the time of process creation and we can only modify page while it is marked on copy on write and as the copy of this child process and parent process are different from each other then no use of the overlapping of these pages all unmodified pages that are needed to be shared between these processes of child and parent suppose that a process page that cannot be modified should not be marked on copy on write such as executable code which are unmodifiable and only be shared among the parent and child process of that particular process creation this type of implementation is generally accepted in many operating system such windows xp solaris and linux now when it is determined that a page is needed to be duplicated or copied marked on copy on write then we must note that the location from which the free page is to be allocated now we can do that that we allocate a free page from a pool of free pages that is given to that particular process now whenever a page is allocated from this process now it is marked on copy on write and copied on the process of parent or child now this pool of free frame processes that are needed to be added or allocated for the process pages are can be done for the stack and heap allocation for the virtual memory and for the copy on write file management now the operating system must allocate the pages on zero fill on demand system what is that that a page is to be allocated by zeroing out or by writing out all the previous contents and freeing it then allocate it to other systems now there are many variations to the fork system call with copy on write provided by the versions of unix such a variation is a v fork or virtual fork that is different from the fork with copy on write system in this type of v fork we used to separate the child processes address space from the parent process by suspending the parent process while the child is executing the particular process and the child process is executing in the parent processes address space only thus if the child process can modify any page that is in the parents address space then the parent will be notified about this change only when it resume its operation so v fork must be carefully handled or coded as the present process address space cannot be modified by the child process now it is an extremely efficient method for process creation in many unix versions and thus can be created without the fork with copy on write system this v fork is generally useful when the child process call exec system call immediately after the creation of that particular child processes here no need of the copying pages is necessary that is why we can create this type of pages with a vfork function and it is often sometime implemented for the unix shell division creation algorithms thank you for watching this video stay tuned with ikira and subscribe to ikira